Tom Coburn joins us now. The Wall Street Journal says that the president already has the power to make these cuts less painful. He could do it if he wishes to make them less painful, but he's not doing it. Uh, why, why, why does he insist on forcing pain down the American throat? Oh, I, you know, I, I, it's all the politics of it rather than the policy. And, uh, you know, uh, this is, uh, relatively speaking, this is a small amount of cuts that could easily be accomplished by giving him a little more flexibility uh, in addition to the flexibility he has now. You know, he has a decision to make. He can, he can make these cuts very painful and use the policy benefit to blame that on, the political benefit to blame that on those of us who think the federal government ought to quit growing as fast as it's growing. Or he could do it to where he can make them as least painful as possible and get a cooperative Congress to give him even more flexibility. Uh, if we don't make these cuts, uh, the pain that's going to come in the future uh, is going to be far worse, and there's going to be much more severe cuts. You, so, you know, it, it's it's all politics, Stuart. It's not policy, and it's the right thing for us to do. It's the second time we've cut spending since World War II, um, and the last time was 1995. Senator, you've got a, a list of cuts which could be made very easily and painlessly. Can you share just a couple of the items with us? Well, you, you, first of all, the GAO has put out a report. There's $347 billion in expenditures a year where we have multitude of layers of programs that duplicate one another. So just by ho pulling back on some of those programs and enhancing the others, you could accomplish what the American people need. G example, 47 job training programs, all but three totally overlap one another. We spend almost $19 billion a year on those. We have STEM programs, 209 of them throughout the federal government. That's science, technology, education, and engineering, and math. We, we spend about $6 billion a year on that, and, and we have 209 programs, which means we have 209 sets of administrators. Federal housing programs, we have 3,700 different housing agency directors in the country. In Oklahoma, we have a housing agency that has no homes, but we're still paying a director. I mean, there are all sorts of things. If we just manage what we're doing better, we can right. save hundreds of billions of dollars a year. It looks to most of our viewers and myself, and I'm sure to many people in Congress, that we are indeed going to go and get these cuts on Friday. What, will you tell our viewers if skies, if, if planes are going to be delayed next week, are children not going to be vaccinated next week, is meat not going to be inspected next week? Is that going to happen? No. Absolutely, flat out. And if no. it does, ha if, if if it happens, it's the ineptitude of the administrative branch because they want it to happen for a political purpose. Do you think we'll ever really get a handle on our debt when we make such a fuss of cutting two percent of our total three point eight percent expenditure? Well, we're, yes, we're going to eventually get a handle on our debt, and the reason why we are is the arithmetic doesn't work and the rest of the world's going to quit loaning us money that we can afford to borrow. So we're going to do it, and that'll be very, very painful, Stuart, if we do it this way and then we reform, do, do things like the Simpson-Bowles Commission said, if you're going to reform the taxes, use it to lower the rates to ultimately increase the revenues of the federal government and to have actual really good plans at reforming Medicare and reforming Social Security to save those programs. Uh, we can do it, and we will do it. But the, the timing is, it just shows you, the government's twice the size it was 11 years ago, and it shows you that the career politicians pay more attention to parochial interests than they do the long-term best interest of the country. Senator Tom Coburn, we always appreciate you being with us, sir. Thank you very much.